Alright, this is a tutorial to enable tethering on an iPhone in which tethering has not been enabled via your service provider, whether you don't pay for it or it's not available. As long as you have a data connection or a data package, whatever you want to call it, you can use this. Alright, first thing you gotta do is open up Safari. And once Safari is loaded up, go to this web address. It's help.benm.at. You see that right there is the first one in my uh, previously typed in addresses. Give you a second to see that. This website provides automatic configs to enable tethering on your phone based on your carrier. You do not have to have your phone jailbroken or hacked or unlocked in order to do this. This will work with an iPhone 2G, 3G, or 3GS right out of the box. Okay, you want to scroll down to mobile configs. You're going to touch on mobile configs. Since each carrier has its own settings, you need to scroll down to which country your carrier is provided or your carrier is based. Most of the time that will be the country you're in. I selected USA because I'm on AT&T in the USA. And then you're going to touch on that provider. This is going to load a new screen gonna exit out of Safari and bring up a new screen this screen will say install profile as you can see you want to touch on install now it's gonna pop up a warning that says uh, it can't be verified la da 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 click replace I've tried this it works now it's gonna say installing profile give that a moment or two and it's going to pop up and say profile installed that's what you want to do okay click on done it's going to go back to safari alright now you can exit safari go to settings scroll down to general touch on general touch on network and you can see that internet tethering is now an option if I turn internet tethering on I already have my uh, phone connected to my laptop via the USB turn it on it may warn you that your Bluetooth is turned off that's fine if you're gonna use the USB if you want to use the Bluetooth you need to turn it on first I selected USB only now my internet is turned on my computer now will see that tethering is uh, the iPhone is connected and it has the tethering uh, enabled and now my phone will alert you as you can see on the top there that your phone is tethering to the computer um, if you have iTunes on it'll sync again as you can see mine is doing the cool thing about this is it lets you know your tethering from any application that has the status bar or even if your phone is locked and what you're going to see in a second, I'll show you here. I'm going to cancel my sync. Turn my screen off. Turn it back on. And now you can see, even though the time is showing, that it's internet tethering. Now, some of you may run into problems. Uh, with your visual voicemail or if your provider has multimedia messaging MMS it may stop working in order to re-enable this you're gonna go back to general in settings scroll all the way down to reset which should be the very bottom one and you're gonna reset your network settings this one right here right there Alright, I don't need to do that since I've already had this installed. I did do it the first time because my visual voicemail did stop working. 
But once I reset these settings, my phone re turned off, turned back on, and it all worked out just dandy. Hope this works for you guys. Enjoy sharing internet to your computer at your own risk.